Welcome to the Saul's Newsstand News Review for October 4th, 2019. Fox News reports, Trump says Dems out to raid Medicare to fund socialism as he signs executive order seeking changes. President Trump on Thursday signed an executive order giving a broader role to Medicare's private insurance option as he vowed to protect the current system from Democratic presidential candidates' calls to enact, quote, Medicare for all. Medicare itself remains popular, but the calls to enact a single-payer government-run system for everyone are far more controversial. Signing the order at The Villages, a retirement community north of Orlando, Trump singled out Democrats he said want to totally obliterate Medicare. Trump's order directs his department to examine whether its current policies and practices put traditional Medicare ahead of the private Medicare Advantage option. The order would seek to expand the range of additional services that can be offered by the private plans and would direct regulators to find more ways for seniors to financially benefit from plans that provide cost-efficient service. In attendance was the 60-plus association founder and chairman, Jim Martin. He said of the event, quote, It was humbling for me to have a literal front row seat to history in the villages on Thursday and to be surrounded by so many people who understand what is at stake for Medicare. Seniors do not want Medicare to be corrupted by socialist health care schemes. They want quality health care with lower costs, more choice and improved security. That is what President Trump promised and that is what he is delivering. Another article from Fox News reports, McCarthy calls on Pelosi to suspend Trump impeachment inquiry, accuses her of recklessness. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy sent a letter on Thursday to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi calling on her to suspend the impeachment inquiry into President Trump until, quote, equitable rules and procedures are set up. Coming amid concerns by the GOP lawmakers that they will be sidelined or shut out of the impeachment inquiry into Trump, McCarthy criticized Pelosi for the swiftness and recklessness which House committee chairs have proceeded with the impeachment inquiry and pleaded with the House Speaker to ensure Republican participation in the proceedings. McCarthy said in his letter, quote, Unfortunately, you have given no clear indication as to how your impeachment inquiry will proceed including whether key historical precedents or basic standards of due process will be observed. In addition, the swiftness and recklessness which you have proceeded has already resulted in committee chairs attempting to limit minority participation in scheduled interviews, calling into question the integrity of such an inquiry. In his letter to Pelosi, McCarthy asks a number of questions, including whether Pelosi plans to hold a full House vote on authorizing the impeachment inquiry, whether she plans to grant subpoena powers to both the committee chairs and the ranking members, and whether she'll allow Trump's lawyers to attend the hearings. We would encourage you to read the full article by clicking on the link in the description below. And finally, an article from The Hill states, Sanders undergoes heart procedure after experiencing chest discomfort. Senator Bernie Sanders, a 2020 White House hopeful, underwent a procedure to have two stents inserted to address an arterial blockage after experiencing chest discomfort during a campaign event on Tuesday, his aide said. Jeff Weaver, a senior advisor to Sanders' campaign, said in a statement on Wednesday that the Vermont senator would spend the next few days recovering from the procedure and that his campaign events would be canceled until further notice. Sanders' campaign also canceled a recently announced $1.3 million television ad buy in Iowa, according to Advertising Analytics, a firm that tracks ad spending. The spot was slated to begin airing on Thursday. A spokesman for Sanders, however, said that the move was, quote, just a postponement. At 78, Sanders is the oldest candidate in the presidential race. He has experienced a number of ailments over the years, including hernias and gout but his allies have long insisted that he's in good health, often pointing to the energy he exhibits on the campaign trail. During his first run for president in 2016, Sanders' campaign released a letter from his longtime doctor, congressional physician Brian Monahan, asserting that the senator was in very good health. That letter also noted that Sanders had no history of cardiovascular disease. He has not yet released his medical records, though he has said he will do so eventually. And that concludes your Saul's Newsstand News Review for October 4th, 2019. 
For more political news faster, visit saulsnews.com.